Hey everyone, welcome to season 2 of Suits and Sports. My name is Ryan James and in the second episode we will be featuring a spectacular guest who is a renowned football manager who is currently managing the Diamond Harbour Football Club. Prior to this he has managed spectacular teams such as the Mohan Bagan team that won the 2019-2020 I-League title, then the Kerala Blasters side in the Indian Super League. Prior to these he has managed at the Polish top tier division where he won 5 trophies. He's also been involved with Sassuolo in the La Liga. A prominent manager, Mr. Kibu. Hi sir, how are you doing today? Hello, good afternoon. Everything fine, everything fine. Thank you. So so it's great to have you on board with us sir and talk about football. So before I get into football, so I want to ask you a, a rather silly question. You've been in India for a while, so I want to ask you, have you learned a little bit of uh, Hindi or maybe Bengali? Yes, yes. In, uh, in fact, uh, we are, we are uh, after our first course of Hindi. Uh, we 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 passed, and we are we are uh, looking for the certification. So, uh, especially alphabet, uh, words, uh, a little bit of conversation, but it's uh, the hard the hard uh, the hard part is to is to talk. But uh, even in the training sessions, I, I started to say something, some, some things in Hindi. So yes, yes, trying to trying to to get it and to improve and to 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 learn to learn more Hindi, more Hindi. And and uh, regarding Bengali, uh, mm -hmm. I started I started with Hindi because Hindi you can talk in uh, in all the in all the country, and Bengali also only only in West Bengal. Wow, so that's great. So hopefully I'll see you uh, speaking full-fledged Hindi very soon. And uh, yes, yeah, so, so moving on, a uh, question for you in regard with your uh, early life when it came to football. So, so you grew up in a country like Spain. So I want to ask you, what was it that actually inspired you to get into the world of football? Well, uh, since I, I, was, I was a child, uh, my passion was football. Uh, my passion in my life was football. So in my, in my house every time, I was watching matches, uh, playing uh, the weekends, training. Uh, every was uh, every everything was uh, regarding to football. No, involved in, in, in football in football life. Uh, I was reading Marca, it's the Spanish the Spanish newspaper, Spanish sport newspaper every day. So my week was, uh, of course, go to school and and, uh, and study. And then the training sessions in the afternoon, uh, match to play uh, to play again Saturday or Sunday on weekends, and and also uh, to watch matches in, on the television. Wow, so that's that's really interesting. So, so could you take us through the journey as to how you you said you were a football fan? So, how did you progress to convert that into becoming a coach? Well, uh, normally in Spain, since you are a, a, a kid, you are a child, you are starting, you are starting uh, playing football when you are eight, nine years. You know? For example, in San Sebastian, when I was born, normal, normal thing is to play, to play Saturday mornings in the beach. Okay. There is a big beach, La Concha Beach, and mm -hmm. uh, there are, uh, they are, uh, they are uh, play, We are playing matches, or the boys, they are the boys and the girls, they are playing matches. Every okay. Saturday, Saturday uh, on the beach, and then uh, normally you are you are playing, you are going to the school, etc. If you are a good mm -hmm. player, you have the possibility to, to develop in the best in, in the best teams in the in the country or the best in the best academies, and also mm -hmm. you have the possibility to, to to be a football coach. No, so when okay. I was uh, 16, 17 years, I started to to train. I mean, to to be a coach. So that time I was playing. I was studying. I was I I was training. Then uh, I I went to the I went to the university. And during my time in the university, I was studying journalism. And also and also I was playing in the university team. We were playing uh, international, national, international to uh, tournaments in wow. Europe, in, in North America. And also, I, I started to 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 study to to get the licenses. In 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 Europe, you have three licenses normally: okay. UEFA B, UEFA A, and UEFA Pro. And uh, when I was in the university, in the in the university, I got the UEFA B license and the UEFA A. 
and yeah. then when I finished uh, in the university, uh, and I started, uh, I started uh, working. Uh, I got the WAFA Pro license. That was in two thousand two. Yes. Wow. Wow, so I mean, that's really inspiring to know because a lot of them today say that, you know, I can't handle both university and possibly playing. So then they stop one of it and stuff. So it's great to know that you you pursued it and here, yet here you are as a successful coach. So, so I've always uh, had this one question. So coaches, honestly, so if you look at football, what it was before and what football is today, in terms of analytics and statistics, it's gone to another level. So I want to know you as a traditional coach, how much do you rely on aspects such as, you know, analytics and statistics of uh, the players? Well, I think that, um, that uh, they, are, they, are, they are very important. No? They give you, they give you um, some objective information because, no, uh, because in my time when I, when I started, a lot of things, they, 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 they were subjective. I mm -hmm. mean, what do you think? What do you see? Uh, your point of view of football? And it's true that the statistics, they are giving you some data that they, they, that they are important in order to sometimes to compare, to compare players, uh, compare your team with other teams. For example, in physical terms, you can compare how many, how many kilometers the, the play, uh, the, your team is running comparing with the, with the opponent. Also, uh, each, play, each player, how many, how many sprints in the, in the matches, the whole team, how many sprints uh, comparing with the with the opponent, this is in the in the physical part of the of the of the of the, no, of the yes of football. But also uh, some aspects, for example, in in, in challenges, in duels, aerial duels, uh, normal duels. Um, for example, how many how many balls uh, the team is recovering in your field in the open in, in the open hill, uh, etc. So they are giving they are giving some some value information. To the team and also to try to improve individually your your players. Wow, so that's that's really interesting, and I'm really happy that I heard it from you. So it seems a lot more believable. And uh, so, so my next question to you is: uh, So, could you take us through your uh, journey so far in India? So, what are the things that you've liked in particular? Well, uh, I'm very happy here the, to to be in India. Uh, uh, my my first season in. Uh, our first season, because always I'm talking about <clears throat> the coaching staff. No, mm -hmm. our first season in Mohumagan was uh, was amazing because we won we, we won the I League, but also was uh, was important uh, the, the beginning with up and downs. No, because at the beginning uh, we were playing Duran Cup, we played we played the final, we lost against Popular Kerala, then um, uh, we played the Calcutta League, we got uh, the second position. Uh, we went to, to Bangladesh to play an international tournament in Sheikh Kamal. We played semi-finals and then in the I-League, we started uh, with only one point in the first two matches, but then we, we started to win matches and, and playing. I think that playing good football, we, we got the championship. Second season in Kerala, in Kerala Blasters, uh, was, um, was difficult because it was in Goa with the, with the Bio Babel, with a very short a very short um, uh, pre-season, only three, three, four weeks, not with the whole team. And I think we need, uh, we needed uh, more, uh, we needed more time to develop our style of game. In three, four months, is is uh, is impossible to create to create something big, no? And uh, and now in, in the DHFC, we are we are in a new project. Uh, it's uh, already our our fifth month. Um, the first round was was very good. We finished in the first position, uh, unbeaten, and now we are going to play uh, the playoff, the Super Six, uh, in a difficult in a in, in a difficult environment because we are going to play five games in in in, in ten days. Sorry. Oh, okay. Wow, so definitely, I'm sure a, a coach like you will motivate your players to. Go ahead and get the best. So, speaking of which, sir, so I I know that you've been involved with few of a uh, few of these young talents in India, especially players like VP Suhair, Jeek uh, Singh, Sahal Abdul Samad, and many more. So, so I want to ask you, from your perspective, what do you think it is that these few players are doing different compared to the other players who aren't reaching that stage? Well, I think the first the, the, the first important thing is that. Uh... The good players, they 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 need they need a chance. 
they need a chance to to show that they they are uh, talented enough to 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 play in the in the good level. No, you are talking about BP Suhair or or Jackson Singh. No, uh, BP Suhair came uh, and uh, he got with uh, playing minutes and playing playing games. Uh, he started to got uh, to to got uh, uh, self confidence. No, and he was a very very important player uh, with us because he's versatile player. He can play in different positions. With us, he was playing as a second striker, also also as a, as right winger. Um, very hardworking uh, player with uh, a lot of desire to improve and to grow up and to be better. And this is this this uh, this I think is very important, very important in food, not only in football, also in life. No, to try to be better, to try to improve and and and, and listen. The people you think that they can, they can, uh, they can help you, no? And uh, regarding Jackson Singh, is similar in terms of personality than BP Suhair, humble person, uh, wanting to improve, wanting to help the team. He was open to playing different positions because with us, uh, he was playing at, as defensive midfield, and some 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 uh, some games he played also as a central defender, uh, knowing that his best position is center is uh, defensive midfielder. I think that. Uh, that uh, these games, as uh, those games as uh, uh, central defender, help uh, help him to to try to to understand his uh, with his uh, with his aerial aerial uh, power uh, power and uh, and aerial challenges. Um, I think that um, he can. He can play also in in, in in different positions. Also, for example, if you are playing with three central defenders, he he can he can give you the possibility to play a central defender and also give you a good uh, playing passes passes from behind. Wow, that's really uh, interesting and like getting that coach's perspective. And obviously, uh, nobody knows a player more than the coaches because you guys have been training them and uh, are pretty much a helping guide for them. So, so uh, another question to you, sir. So, you've been associated with uh, Mohan Bagan and even with Kerala Blasters, and both those teams have been known as like you know the biggest, like biggest set of fandom. Mohan Bagan, one of the oldest clubs in Bangalore, We've, they're known for their uh, fan experience. Even Kerala Blasters, as we all know, you could not be there, like you could not experience the the atmosphere in Kochi. But how was it like in terms of the fan interaction and the love you got from the fans? Well, uh, as as you said, uh, it's completely right. Uh, very big fan bases. Uh, Mohan Bagan is a historical historical team in, in all over India, and, and they, uh, the team the team has uh, the club has fan base in every place. I remember that uh, when uh, before before COVID, uh, we were playing a, a home and away matches, and with the away matches in every place uh, we had uh, we had supporters. Uh, Mohan supporters, not only from Kolkata, from from the from the place, for example, in Nepal, in in, in Goa, in um, in uh, in Punjab, even uh, no, in in every, in every place there were uh, Mohan supporters, and uh, and Kerala Blasters as well, uh, no, Manjapada uh, supporters, Kerala Blasters supporters, they are they are in they are in in every place. I remember that even in Warsaw. They, we had uh, we had we had we had a meeting in, a meeting in Poland with uh, with uh, Kerala Blaster supporters before before coming back before coming back to India. No? So the experience is fantastic. Uh, we we were unlucky because we couldn't we, we couldn't uh, celebrate the matches with the with the supporters in my time in, in Kerala Blasters, and we were playing in in uh, in Goa with uh, with empty stands, but. This is life, and, and now I'm happy to see that they are they are enjoying very much the matches with the, with the, with their team uh, and uh, and uh, with with full study. As a Kerala Blasters fan, seven we we still enjoyed every moment with you. So I still remember uh, Rahul KP's winning goal against Bengaluru FC. So we we do have the good memories with you, sir. So. Thank you so much for that on behalf of all Manjapada fans and definitely Mohan Bagan fans also would love to, you know, indeed, you know, would, would definitely have a lot of good wishes for you, sir. So, so uh, 
last question in regard with indian football so so, so you've actually uh, experienced a lot of uh, raw talent in india so what do you have to say in regard with uh, you know the overall structure how can india get to the next level well i think that uh, they are um, most of the clubs most of the uh, of the big clubs in india they are starting to create good academies with foreign coaches with uh, with local coaches that they have a good level to to develop to to develop new players i think the first uh, the first stage so i think that we have we have to think in middle and long term uh, long terms to to create a good and to build good good indian good indian players and also this is one time for example the work the work in the academies each team and also i think that the indian football federation they have to think in the in in create a better uh, better competitions more competitions to 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 young players in order to develop no the the, the way to improve is to training well to have a good methodology and also to play games you no know, the the minutes in the games uh, they are very important you no know, not only in the professional level in the youth in the in the youth level for example uh, in spain normally in one uh, in europe not only in spain europe in poland in spain in holland in holland in france the boys they are playing around 30 40 games each season official game right. you no know, and i don't know in, in india how many games they are playing no only in the in the best level there were there were seasons that the players they play only 18 matches in a season it's not possible yes. with this with only with only 18 matches it's very difficult to improve and this and and the the, the leagues and the seasons must be longer because with six months is is impossible to improve you see that you are working half a, half a year in which in which uh, in which job you are you are working only half a year it's not possible to improve to be better and to to try to to compete with other with other footballs with other nations and so i think that one hand is the, the 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 job and the the work of the academies and the second one is is to is to to build and to to create a structure that the boys and the the football players they can they they have to play more matches and and more competitions how oh, so indeed we all definitely do hope uh, the same along with you that you know india can make use of these steps and uh, go on to the next level and uh, we know what the next level is and the next level is what's going to happen very soon that is the the biggest uh, sporting event the fifa world cup coming up in qatar sir so i want to know what is your take on it and uh, whom are you supporting of course spain i'm <laughs> spanish I'm going to support the support the Spanish national team. They are they are doing very well with a very young team, uh, with a fantastic uh, fantastic coach uh, Luis Enrique. That they, they, he's giving a lot of opportunities to young players as Pedri, Gavi, Eric García, Ferran Torres, Ansu Fati, etc. Uh, I know that this time we have not the, the 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 best team because I think the main favorites are France, Brazil, and Argentina. and uh, but we are going to be in this group group uh, of of teams that uh, hopefully we can we can progress the the first round we have a very a very tough uh, tough group because we have germany in the same group japan that is uh, perhaps the best the best team in asia and uh, and uh, costa rica that that is going to be difficult in the first in the first game so hopefully we can we can we can progress to 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 next round and 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 then in one match everything is possible i think that if we if we if we get the quarter finals and have the possibility to advance to semi finals is going to be uh, good for us but uh, knowing that we can we can win to with against any team and also we can lose against against uh, against any any rival Uh, yeah so i think that's the dynamic of football anything is possible and sir uh, just because you mentioned spain again it just hit my head so which club did you support sir did, did you happen to support real madrid or barcelona by any chance or uh, it was a different club no no it's real sociedad real sociedad from san sebastian we are now in sixth sixth position in the no for sorry fifth position in the table we won against uh, we won uh, one zero against villarreal last game so we are in the fifth position and also sasuna because i was working in sasuna right. in the young level in the in the first team 
no so so yes i'm i'm also osasuna osasuna supporter both teams they are uh, both from the north of spain to small regions but very good very good work in the academies they are teams that they have a lot of play, players from the from the youth from the youth system and uh, Real Sociedad now is the fifth position in Primera División and Osasuna in the ninth, uh, ninth position. I'm, I'm a little angry with that because I'm a United fan and Real Sociedad did beat us in the Europa League. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we won, we won a, a zero one with a goal of Bryce, Bryce Bendis. I was watching the game. Yes, yes. Yeah, so, so, so uh, also another question, so because uh, you grew up, you grew up, grew up in Spain. I want to ask you, playing football. I want to ask you, if if not for football, was there any other sport that you would have actually pursued? Yes, yes, I'm. Uh, I support. Uh, I watch a lot of games of uh, tennis games. Oh, tennis games. Uh, uh, yes, I was when I was kid. I was play. I was playing tennis. Also, I I I I, I went to judo judo classes oh, wow. and but in tennis yes in tennis uh, yes because i'm a big supporter of a big fan of rafa nadal so we have a consensus there both of us are uh, rafa nadal fans sir so our i think our uh, founder is joined so he's a mohan bagan fan and he's also worked with uh, nottingham forest uh, as their uh, sports lawyer team so it's mr subrajit sir i think he's joined just a second I think he's joining, and uh... okay. So, so while uh, Subrajit sir joins, so I just have a question because I'm a basketball player. I expected you to say basketball because Spain is very big in basketball. So, have you ever had a try in basketball? Yes, 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 yes. But I'm not very tall. You, you know, in in Spain, people is taller than in India, and I. I was I was not very tall at all. I was I, I was playing sometimes in in, in a position number five, you know, in football from from one to five. And yes, you are right. You are right. Uh, um, the basketball in Spain is very important. Uh, last month we, we we won the European Championship with a complete new uh, with some players of NBA as as uh, Hernan Gomez brothers, and it was uh, unexpected uh, title for Spain. But very happy that. Uh, Spain is still after Gasol, Pau Gasol, and Mar Gasol era. Era they, they, they are they are uh, winning. They are still winning championship. It's great, sir. sir. So Subrajit, sir, now's your moment. Uh, hello, to you, sir. How are you? Uh, big fan of yours because you have done a lot for our Mohan Bagan. And uh, yeah, being a Mohan Bagan fan, I have to say thank you to you. Sorry for this late joining in the meeting in the middle of the moment. So I was taking my class as the uh, professor. So just completed my class, going for another class in between. I just came in between to say for thank you for your time and the moment you given to us. And hopefully to meet you in person because you are uh, for most of our Moon Bagan fans. I don't know where of last is. So for most of our Moon Bagan fans, you are a uh, god. Thank you, thank you very much. Very nice, very, very nice to, very nice to, to, to meet you. And thank you, thank you for your, for your kind, kind words. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. So I just came for a movement, uh, and I know you are a very busy person because you mentioned like two fifteen, and it's already two sixteen. So once again, sir, thank you for your time, and hopefully to connect with you again in the future, when in person, when you will India. Thank you, th thank you very much. No, I'm very happy to be to be here in Kolkata again. To be to be in India, you have a fantastic country. We we feel uh, like at home here in uh, in Kolkata and in, and in India. And I'm, I'm very happy to to continue my my travel here in India, my football travel. Yes, sir. And hopefully, I will conduct a lecture from you in my class of sports law. So where I teach sports law and management all together. So once again, sir, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Uh, so okay, Ryan uh, and sir, I need to go because I have I'm just came back from the class to so just meet with the sir and say uh, thank you for his time. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Go go to class. Go to class. <laughs> <laughs> Students are waiting. Okay. So bye, sir. Adios. Thank you. Adios. Thank you very much. Bye, guys.
Thank you, sir. Uh, so, Kibu, sir, I know you're uh, you're also busy. So, uh, last question. So, before I let you off, sir. So, you've been in India. So, which is your favorite Indian food, sir? Well, uh, you know, I'm eating. Uh, I, I'm eating a, a, a lot of things, no. But uh, for example, uh, mutton biryani, uh, okay. palak. Um, mm-hmm. Yes, uh, no, a lot of a, a lot of things. Uh, no, uh, veggie, uh, veggie, especially veggie things, veggie, veggie, okay. veggie, veggie, and also mm-hmm. non veggie as well. No, as uh, matu biryani, I think is one of my favorite. Wow. That's great, sir. So, and if you're ever down in Bangalore, sir, do hit me up. We can go. There's a really good biryani place here called Meghra. So, you can definitely go try it out. So, so thank you so much, sir, for taking time off your schedule, sir. It was indeed an honor to have you and hear from you and, you know, hear all of your experiences. And I'm sure a lot of our listeners out there and budding footballers and budding people like me who are trying to get into the sports industry will take a lot of insights from what you said. So before you go, could you just give out a message to all our well-wishers in Spanish? In Spanish? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Eh, Muchas gracias por vuestra invitación. Ha sido un placer estar con vosotros. Y y espero que sigáis disfrutando del fútbol, no solo en India, sino también en todo el mundo. That's awesome, sir. So thank you so much once again, sir. It was lovely having you. Thank you.